Brenda Danehart came to WTRF in 1981. People like her come along not very often. People like her that you immediately know, that girl's going to make it. One of her first stories was at the Hare Krishna Palace of Gold. And I remember looking around thinking, oh my gosh, this place is just gorgeous, you know, that they built this beautiful place. Um, but I didn't realize that you had to take your shoes off when you had gotten there and, and said, you know, will they give my shoes back? And he thought, he probably thought, oh, for heaven's sakes, what a rookie. Over the next 36 years, she covered it all. I, I do remember when President Clinton came here to campaign and he actually walked up to us when we were standing there. That was really, really cool. On 9-11, after the attack on America, Brenda and Frank and the news team at that time, uh, at the end of the news, had a community type meeting that uh, calmed the people down in our community. Brenda Danehart is first class. She's the kind of person that you are lucky enough to be able to work with, but more importantly, lucky enough to know. Uh, of all the years I've known her, she's been very consistent. She's always got a smile on her face, and she's up when everybody else seems to be down. She's kind of been the face of our valley in the news and uh, always had that smiling face and that's what I always, when I think of Brenda Dayhart, I see that smile no matter what day it is or what time it is and she's done such a, just an outstanding job and this is an, an honor that's probably long overdue and we're really proud of her. Brenda has hosted countless telethons and still does. She has empathy and compassion. She could see what other parents were going through at the time and realize the hardships that they were facing. And someone who cares about this community, uh, uh, a mother, a wife, uh, a leader, uh, she's all that wrapped up in one. To complete me, I needed this job and I needed to be a mom and a wife and because of my wonderful family, I was able to do all of that. So I feel blessed. Her career continued and she still gets the highest compliment a journalist can aspire to. She always worked hard to get the facts right. So if she said it, you can believe it. I've been off the air for 16 years, I think it is now, not um, other than doing telethons and people still remember me. She's always so gracious to everybody. She really liked for me to tell you this story. But when I say everywhere we go, I mean everywhere. We were at a funeral together. And seated, the service was about ready to begin. And uh, a very nice lady spotted Brenda, gets up, comes to her, and asks her to autograph the funeral program. And Brenda, not wanting to disappoint her, hesitantly autographs the funeral program right beside the picture of the deceased. And she's beautiful on the inside and out. And uh, when we first met her, she was an anchor and uh, now the, uh, running the news department. Now back to the Palace of Gold. Uh, Brenda, I want to say I always love working with you. You're very nice and kind-hearted, very welcoming. And I'll make sure next time when you come, you don't have to take your shoes and we'll have shoe cover for you. I'm just really proud to say that I liked my job, loved my job to the point that I wanted to stay at this television station and do my whole career there. To this day, I still consider her truly a friend. The community looks to her uh, and we're so very honored and privileged to have her in our world.